Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Fable. So I'm gonna go in here really quick because I think I got a level up. I did, I have uh, five. So let's go put it in. Oh, we could get some more mana, we could get some more health, or we could get some more strength. But the thing is, the strength only gives you bonus damage every 10 points, I believe. We always respect later, so. But either way, you can do whatever you want, I guess. Alright, so last time we did Wilshire Burns. Now we're on Sir Anna's quest. Uh, this is all the same. Travelling back to Oaklaw, you meet the one and only Sir Anna, the Pentagonal Knight. He's looking for a way to live up to his family in, and he's found us the adventurer, slash hero, to help him out. Guess who that is? To me. Greetings, Midnight. Welcome again to Oglock Heap. Rest of it. I'm sure your travels have tried, tired you, and I have a proposition for you. Okay. Let's talk. Oh god, that's a lot. <laughs> You've always seemed a generous sort of warrior, so I thought you might be willing to consider my proposition. Let's go back. I can't be bothered. I'm sure that with your help, I'll learn just what I need to become a hero. I catch the king's attention. Nurse for trouble. Got a big nurse, you see. Ah, lol. Kind of mean. A monster has been terrorized by the townspeople, who supply the keep with food. Oh, he's joining my team. What level is he? Hello? Three. He's got quite a bit of health for a level of three. Captain Rolf is planning on sending out knights to take care of the creature. I know if I, we, take care of it, it'll bring me to his attention. What do you say? Are you up for helping me? I guess so. Ooh, a bird. Light man is 70. Damn, that's pretty good. Let's go for Draco, we don't have a light weapon yet. Which my first light weapon, well maybe not my first, but I am planning on getting a destiny weapon. That's probably not for a while. That was terrible. That was actually terrible, that was his powerful attack. A guaranteed crit and it did 11 damage. This guy really should be ashamed of himself. That did more. I remember why I hated these quests. Yeah, that just does way more. It did 55. What is the point of that other attack? It's, it's weird because it can be the weakest character in the game. Well, apart from like book one, Ash and Ravina. But you can also be like really powerful. I, I hate him. I hate him for that exact reason because it's like... Part of me want to be like, oh yeah, it's really good. Like, that was terrible. Considering the other attacks did a lot more. It's so predictable, I don't like it. It may be sad. Let's see what he does now. 19. That was a bit better, but it's still kind of poo. Ooh, a refreshing bus. Bush. You found a magical bush. You feel refreshed. Who would have thought eating... Leaves off a bush would be beneficial. Boots are usually meant for walking. Not for being discarded before battle. No? No no jokes for the helmet? Sad. There it is. And it's asleep. Let's go. I've got my war cry all figured out. Takes a deep breath. Shh. You ju don't just charge in screaming. That's how you get killed. Or immortalized and turned into a tired jerk. Huh. Good point. I will practice stealth like the ninjas. I don't, don't know why I said like that. I kind of stuttered. I will become one with the air, with the shadows, the cave itself. So long as you don't become one with that pile over there. It smells. <laughs> Inhales deeply. Ew. You're a achoo. Excuse me. Whoops. Grun. Seven seven seven. Light man thirty. 
awesome. Awesome for Draco. Oh my god, he's literally five and seven. See what I mean? Just terrible. So it's unpredictable. I need to stop going on about it. I can't let it go. I got some pretty decent XP, but still. That was exhilarating. Training was never like this. I dodged. I weaved. I struck. I snurk. Let me do all the work. Yeah, yeah, he literally did. If Sarah Anna's nose grows any longer, he'll poke the monsters awake before they can even see him coming. Gargoyles here, try selling it. Okay. Wait, is that healed him? Oh, he's gone. The boss says that healed him as well, but he's already gone. Let's try to sell this then, daggers. Where's it? Down here. Uh, 300. Oh, you could find that quest. That's kind of cool. I like it. Anyway, uh, back to Serrano. Oh, this quest line shit. I hate it. I hate it. I didn't get to tell you how impressed the patrol leader was when I told him about slaying the gargoyle. He says if I keep on like this, he'll make sure to speak to Captain Roth about me. I know with our help and teaching, I will surely, I will surely too become one. That makes sense. But I'm a sorry night ever. And now there's another chance to stand out. One of the women who works for in the kitchen sent her daughter to pick out mushrooms yesterday. I'll stand out and the little girl is saved. It's a win-win. Will you help me hunt? One of the stable boys said they sorry go off into the deep woods. Sounds good. Two trees, can I sneak you past them? Yes I can. I'm a ninja. So how are him? Nope. Never mind. Stick. Aww. Ooh, they look like nice mushrooms. Me want tea. Let me have them. I want to snort them. I want to grind them up into some nice powder and... Sniff them. Desperately, because... I'm a, a drug lord. I don't know. 87. Damn. All you do is throw a cat at me. 87 for a cat. There it is. Awesome mushrooms. Oh, snort them shrooms. Nice in my lungs. Oh, stinky, sling, stinky. Slinky past that bird. Oh, and that mushroom. Oh, I'm, oh shit. I accidentally walked into him. I am doing some real good dodging and weaving today. How does it feel like I'm going around in circles? I know I'm not because, oh, there you go. Shut my mouth. Oh, look at them go. It's probably fun they're dancing, aren't they? I like it. And a screenshot. Because I am the best. What? I posted scores of sentries. Surely you couldn't have dodged them all. I did dodge quite a lot of them. We saw some with their caps pulled over their eyes. Napping. You might want to work on that. What would you want with the little girl anyway? It's not like you can molt her into one of your mushroom minions. Sneaker. I think that, um, I think I see what you mean by humour. I don't get it. Mold. Fungus. You're a mu- Ah, never mind. I guess you just have spore compension, huh? What about Jenny? What could we use for a little girl? We saw her picking out um our little cousins. Wouldn't you fight to save your family? Before she could gather too many, we decided to collect her. You know, I can almost sympathise with your reasoning. I bet you're a pretty fun guy when you aren't kidnapping little girls. Okay, we'll make sure to work on your punning. I thought he was punching. <laughs> Before you get called to court. I am the very model of the mushroom. Major General. And I'll teach you that fungi. Should not be mocked. So you're saying we shouldn't truffle with you? Is that it? 
sneaker. But, uh, <laughs> and so I'm not going to finish the job. He almost didn't. <laughs> we must on mushroom without too much trouble. The next time you're sent into the forage journey, to forage journey, pick some more thing that can't fight back. How's that for a moral to the story? Giggle. Jenny is safe and Tarana is slowly laying the out of hero's humour with your help. And the loot littered around the mushroom cafe isn't too shabby either. Is it? Not? Oh, level 10 belt. Melee, endurance, nature, blast. Not terrible. I don't think we've got a better one, have we? Oh, we do have this actually. Um, yeah, this is better. Okay, I'll see how much it's worth in the shop. 30 gold. No place like Oaklaw. Minard, you've told me so much about these past weeks. It's for, I've literally been helping for weeks, apparently. All our perseverance. You've been cool under pressure and laughing at danger. But every hero can use a bit of magical intervention, right? I mean, you've had Warlick and Scissor to help you, but I think Scissor has helped me yet. And look at how well that's turned out. I've had a wizard uh, renowned for his advice. Uh, from this tower in Jadet Ruins, it's said he'll um, dispense great wisdom if one is worthy. From the stories I've heard, he's great, and pretty powerful too. Surely uh, you couldn't hurt to have him use his weird, wizardly ways to teach me my future. And if he has a spare enhanced enchanted weapon or two laying around, accepting those couldn't hurt either. What do you say? Will you journey with me? Yes, I will. Oh, it's the yellow brick road to the Wizard of Oz. I've been waiting for you, my pretties. As a good... Dahlia, uh, Anna, do you have any idea what who this is? Don't you know her? You're the one who's been going around being a hero. Have you killed any Yagas? I don't think I've killed any yet. Maybe she wants revenge. How do you accept me to keep track of every antagonist I've taken out? Really now? I need a logbook or something. Oh, inert. You've been middling where you aren't wanted for too long and sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Ruining perfectly laid plans just because you think they're evil are going to destroy the world. You've been slaughtering Yaga since you were a young hero. Just knee high to a sneevel. It's got to stop. And you got, now you're trying to train more of you. Did you explain? Did you even explain the advantages of being bad to your little pentagonal pupil? What would you tempt him with? The inability to bathe, a fear of clean water. You villains are pretty dirty lot. It's not too late for you, little knight. I could use a captain of the guard. Just think, command of my soldiers, a sassy black uniform. And the ability to chant rousing and inspirational nonsense songs as you patrol. Well, I do love a good nonsense song, but no, I would never betray the trust. Oh, evil is so bad. Blah blah blah. It feels good to help evil. Yada yada yada. Well, if you don't take my offer, nope. I told you so. Heroes are so smug when they think they're right. Fine. I'll get you, Minnert, and your little protege too. She doesn't seem very happy. Light minus 50. Ooh, water minus 50. Because she's stinking, she doesn't like to bath. As my character said. So maybe that's why she doesn't like water. And there she goes. Melted into a heap of shit. Oh. It looks like my quest is not yet complete. Fuck. I've been recording for 35 minutes. This is probably going to be my longest video. And because of that, I'm quite sad because it's another this fucking Serrano quest. God damn it. Why did I subject myself to this? 
I could have skewed the quest line, and I don't really think any of you all would have been bothered. Maybe some of you might have been because I would be following the quest line properly. And I, I definitely would have been because I wanted to follow it properly. But I think when I'm playing this game by himself, by himself, by myself, I will most likely skip this quest. Oh, this green wall looks promising. Oh, never mind. Can I walk past? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm finished. Excuse me, Sir Wizard. Does it look like anyone's here? Maybe he's off getting his hair and nails done. Look at all this stuff. Stuffed bed on a stick. Potion bottles. Crystal ball. I wouldn't touch his stuff. Magic does funny things to ordinary objects. Have I ever told you about Sister's laundry? <coughs> his laundry? Did the candace move? He's trembling. Pussy. What do you think you're doing? He fainted in absolute fear. I was, er, uh, looking for you. Er, uh, a note? A note from you? Saying when you'd be back? Why would I? <coughs> no. No need to tell me how that I'm right here. But why would I be behind a curtain? Er, uh, I hope you haven't frightened Winky, my gnome. He naps behind the curtain. Where were you? In the back? Working on a way for ordinary people to fly? Without magic or magical creatures? See, the premise is very simple, really. I'm sure. It's, I'm sure it's fascinating. Honest. But my friend here, your wisdom and uh, wonderfulness is widely known. I wanted to ask you if you could tell me about my future and what was in store for me. Hopefully death. <laughs> that was really mean. Oh, I just skipped it. I don't know why. A hero is not a hero because he's noble and brave. A hero is a hero because he's famous and people fear what he can do. Just get yourself a skilled public re relations minion and you'll be set. That doesn't sound quite right. Oh my. Oh, do forgive me. I confess the speech for advertising aspiring villains with the one for idealistic young heroes. You give pep dogs up to a bad guys too. A wizard wizard's got plan got to pay rent, you know. And villains pay really well when you stroke their egos. Right. Psst. I don't think he's really what you're looking for in an advisor, Anna. Um, uh, thanks for your help, I guess, Sir Wizard. I think we're going to be going now, though. Are you sure you don't want to stay? I could finish explaining my experiment. You could take it for a rest test flight. I'm sure it's ready. Almost. Uh, no, that's alright. We really need to be getting back to the keep. I'm sure we've been missed by now. And I miss it. The jousting. The jesting. And the most unstable outhouse in the realm. Really. When you think about it, there's no place like Oaklaw. Do, do, do you hear something? A sort of whistling sound? Not that you mention it. Ow. Oh. Yep, yeah. I just like Wizard of Oz, you see. There's no place like home, and then you got flattened by her. Bodrigs and apple trees and yaggers. Oh my. Place is silver rapier. A little 35, though, I might actually be a good weapon. Well, it is a good weapon, but level 35 is quite high level. Is this like as good, nearly? Uh, 34 to 52. No, this is way better. What does it look like? Ooh, I kinda like the look of that. Blue school. Got a fucking another quest to do now though. 43 minutes. Gotta keep it on going though. The king is coming for a visit, Midnerd. This is my chance. But before I can worry about that, 
There's something I need your help taking care of. Captain Roloth himself has asked me to deal with the group of bandits, which just camped out in the middle of a swamp a ways away. He says it shouldn't be any problem for someone of my skills. I uh, haven't mentioned yet that you've been helping me, but I will, I promise, in fact. If, when, I get presented to the king, I'll tell him all about you then. You've taught me so much already. Would you help me this one last time? I remember this quest being quite difficult. I think I said that about the other quests, but I think this one's like the hardest one. Oh, hey, look. Here's a recording for 45 minutes. Edit this sound mid nerd. Fuck you, I see. Halt. It's Harry. Harry Potter. <laughs> halt. Mumbles. Purr. Huh? Excuse me? Surly. He said, what well, makes it so is your own mother couldn't identify her. Oh, thank you. Anyways, we're supposed to be here on a mission. That is, we were sent here to... Hey, you, the skinny one with the big nose. Harry doesn't like the look he... Like, Wes... Doesn't he look... Fuck. Harry, doesn't he look like Wesley? Wesley? Yes, you numbskull. He's the adventurer that helps them bandits over near Limcrest. <laughs> hmm. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Right, Wesley. You are Wesley, ain't you? Why, yes, I am. Th this can't have been part of your plan. Nope. But who says I can't think fast? Um, the carp opportunitas. What did you say? Nothing. Just sneezing. Both of us. Gesundheit. Thank you. I've come with a message from a fellow chief. He, uh, wants me to give it to your leader in person. It's very important. Full of plotting and deviousness and bandity goodness. Then you'd better get moving up to camp. Follow the path that way, and you'll see it over the hill there. Oh, uh, and watch out for the chief. He and Fezwig. Oh, uh, that giant earth. They get into a brawl, and Fezwig knocked. Uh, I'm about the head. <laughs> he might be a bit muffled, muddled. I can't read. Sir, so, they said you were Lee? Yep, Lee. Where's Lee? Didn't you do that thing for, uh, what's his name? The guy you met in the one town? That's the one. That was Max, alright. He's really good at getting things done. A miracle man, if you know what I mean. I do, I do. Say, how was about you help me with the little job I've got in the works? Uh, sure. What do you think of doing? What did you agree to do? Shh, trust me. So, what did you have in mind, Dreedy? We we'll, <laughs> well, you know the king, the one with the daughters. What about him? I hear that he's going to be in some fortress in the woods near Falkreach. You mean no clock keep? That's the one. Anyways, I figure the life of the bandit chief is pretty swanky. What with the robbing and the plundering and all. But I figured. If I could grab me a princess. I could ransom some serious loot out of her daddy. Are you going to kidnap one of the princesses? Is it the power you're telling who you really are? Because I don't think it, this is quite how you want to get noticed by his highness. Yup. And you're too going to help. Dree. I'd love to help you. I really would. There's just one little problem. What's that? My name's Serrano de Bergak. Bergak. You're planning to kidnap my princess. Prepare to die. Awesome. Dread Bandit Roberts. Awesome. Wait, it's him ability 100. No. Fuck you, Dread Bandit Roberts. Oh, he survived. Fuck you, Dread Bandit Roberts. Uh -huh. Bitch. 
Oh, fuck. Really? I'm not finished. I don't like this game anymore. Welcome back, Anna. I'm Midnight. I see you after all this time. Anna, I have to be honest. This last mission, dealing with the bandits, was something of a test. So repetitious followed you the entire time. Now, I'm not sure why Midnight came with you, but it looks like you didn't mind the company. Uh, yeah. Company, Anna? Do you want to break the... Yes, yes. I'm sure you want to tell me about the details of your mission, Anna. But I have news you want to hear. The king is here, and I've shared Sir Repetitious' report and the details of your last few trips with him. He's agreed to meet you. He's eager to meet you. I believe he and his daughters are about to sit down to a meal. Sir Emony will announce you. Congratulations, you've come a long way. Oh, and one more thing. After his highness is done with you, there's the bandit's loot to go through. I'd say you've earned your share. Yeah, you're getting us some weapon. Minert, it's always good to see you, Sir Anna. I'm pleased to, for you to be dining with us tonight, as are my daughters. I've heard quite a few stories about you from Sir Emony. When he brought up Captain Rolls' request to have you presented. Especially after thwarting a kidnapping plot. Please allow me to introduce my daughters, at least one of whom owes her well being to you. Seems Brittany, my lovely eldest. Brittany, my lovely eldest. Her clever little sister, Tara. And finally, my darling Victoria. Hello, pleased to meet you both. Good evening. I am truly honoured, sir. Sire. I have dreamed about this moment for years, and to be honest, I think Midner. With I have to thank Midner. Without the help, Princess Victoria. It is Victoria, right, Your Highness? It's so good to finally meet you. Uh yes. Thank you. It is very nice to meet you, Midner. For the first time ever. Anna, I'm sure you've heard many stories about Her Highness. Selfless charity work. Victoria, I didn't know you'd become involved with my charities. I'm not surprised. You always wear a role model of selflessness. Oh yes, Your Highness. Uh, she's well known for her distributing gold to the mon- To the moneyless villagers. I to say to the Tapara townspeople. Gee, Vic, Vicky, that sounds a bit dangerous. Aren't you afraid of being waylaid by law- lawless criminals? Your sister was a good point, has a good point, Victoria. I'm familiar with the, uh, some of our areas where our charities focus. There are some unsavory characters there with a complete disregard for the law. Ugh. I'm, getting, I'm talking. Far too long. Oh, wouldn't you be afraid you'd be in danger? I'm sure your sister can handle herself, my lady. I'm sure of it. Why, I bet she could face some good face face with being the hood herself. And being no more danger than she is now. You wouldn't want to borrow the little mirror I have, would you, Victoria? Victoria, just what a midnight tiny sister implying. Father, I just... I... You just make it so that the adventurers who slay the monsters bothering the townspeople get a little something for their troubles, right? I mean, if I'd been at the hood, uh, if you didn't do that, being a hero would be much less profitable, wouldn't it? And the way I see it, that would be bad in a couple ways. Do continue. Because I'm very interested in how you're going to rationalise the one of my daughters supporting an evil, evil, and even directing aiding crime. <sighs> I can't read that anymore. Well, if the heroes didn't see slaying monsters as profitable, the number of active heroes would decrease. That would do two things. Gulp. It would make more suit uh, trouble for your subjects. Since monster attacks would become more frequent. 
and it would mean there were fewer heroes spending their hard won gold in the shops and inns throughout your realm. So really, really think about it. Victoria's actions as Rabina benefits your kingdom's economy. You know, Anna, that actually kind of makes sense. Yes, yes it does. It definitely does. Oh, that's been my motivation this whole time. Helping the people. Snicker. Hmm. I can't say as entirely approve of your method, but I'm glad to see you've taken interest in the well-being of our subjects. I highly doubt that you'll try to print galvanising around the countryside, engaged in such unsuitable activities. As for you, Anna, you have quite the sharp mind, and a big sharp nose as well. Such an ability to finesse the facts of a situation and present them in a good light. Well, but I could have um, used for such a silver-tongued young knight to court. Sir Vice is in charge of co- coordinating the knights who work directly for me. See him about a position as a public uh, relations consultant. I have a hope for you, young man. I'll be happy to show you around court, Sir Anna. I'm sure someone as brave and gallant as you I am and must have many stories to tell. Why, uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Speaking of stories, Ready Victoria, some of our tales I've heard about your alter ego. I hope they aren't all true. Only most of them. Minert, you can stop helping now. Ah. Uh, are you sure? I couldn't could keep going. I've done so well with Anna after all. Quite sure. Is he quite a knight? Isn't he? He is quite a knight. Blush. As I wish, your highness. Oh my god, I finished. Fuck. I'm so happy. Cavalier's helm. No, thank you. Rusty Bandit Sacks. 31 to 38. Rusty Bandit Sacks. I might get this and the high level one. 24, let's get this. Wait, Dread Bandit's sword, what's that? So that's the same axe, but what's this? Okay. Uh, you know, well, they're free. I'll just get them all. We can use them in the future. We don't have a level 42 yet. 32, I mean. Uh, well, we have some jeans at 30. Right, I'm fucking finished. I've been kind of religion an hour and four minutes. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.